Lockie O'Brien. Lockie O'Brien. Um, this was a really interesting one. I went into the year I, very similar to Dow, not really knowing what's going on. Is he going to make it? Um, he played one game in 2020. Obviously, he's a he's a you know a pick ten in our 2017 draft and wearing the the famous number four and, and all of that. And I I just didn't know where he's at and and how he's going and how he's tracking. And and if I'm being honest, I probably still don't know. Um, having said that, I I thought he showed some some good signs towards the back end of the year. Look, he he played in round one. It wasn't a great game. Um, I think he was almost punished for one contest. He just didn't do the right thing. I remember, I actually remember it. I'll never forget it. It was in the center of the ground and he just dropped the ball. And it, it just seems like it was a confidence thing. And it almost seems like he was punished for it. Oh yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, again, I always reiterate that, you know, just a fan on the outside. I don't really know what's going on on the inside. But what I do know is he played five games and he only played, you know, the last four games once the season was kind of over. And it, my, I'm paranoid that it was more of a, Let's see what you got. Don't know if we're moving forward with you type month. But I'm hoping also that because we've got a new coach coming in who at the time of filming is, I don't know who it is. I'm hoping that we can salvage something from him because you can look at what he doesn't do all you like. And you can probably look at what all players don't do if you focus on that. But one thing that Lockie does that I don't think many of the other players in the, on the list do is, is the, the way he kicks the ball. He's got a beautiful left kick. Um, he runs hard. Yes, he's not physically imposing at times, but it's just not what he's in the team to do. Having said that, there probably needs to be a, a balance between this is not what I'm in the team to do and still having some level of, of competitiveness. To be honest with you, I thought I saw a bit, a bit of it in the, you know, the, the final four games that he did play. I mean, that St. Kilda game, look, everyone, everyone played well that day and, he was a real shining light that day. I really enjoyed what he did. And, um, you know, he needs, for me, if he's going to become a wingman, he needs to be someone that can give us, you know, that, that 20 possessions a game. Um, obviously, he was his fourth year. He's entering his fifth year in 2022. I just don't know where he's at. I don't know what the plans are. It was a real it was a real strange one for me why he hadn't been playing all year. And, and to get that last month of footy in once we had all the injuries, it, it's just, I guess it's just an unknown. It's a really hard one for me to talk about with the review, but I guess the message that I'm portraying is, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with him. I don't know where he's at. Um, I think there is a place for him on the list for sure. A guy that can run the way he runs, can kick the way he kicks. Um, I think we hadn't seen the kicking at AFL level the way he did this year before. Um, but... Ultimately, I guess it's 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 on Lockie if if he's going to put the work in and, and, and impress who he needs to impress and, and prove what he needs to prove. And I guess we'll find out over the next month or so where he's at. And you know there were online rumors circulating, and that always happens when you've got a a highly touted player who isn't playing a lot of footy. There's always going to be rumors circulating that they're unhappy and they might leave and, and whatnot. I don't know about any of that. I don't have any intel. I don't profess to have any intel. But what I do know is. I'd love Lucky in an ideal world to stay, get in the best 22 and, you know, help us on our journey to our premiership. But the reality is I'm just really unsure of what's going on. So this is, a, I guess it's a wait and see. Let me know what you think. Do you see it that way? Do you see it a little differently? Do you see a role for him? Like what what do you actually observe from, from what you saw from Lucky O'Brien in 2021? Let me know in the comments below and we'll chat about it there. Bye.